May the Lord bless and keep you. Today, I believe I was led by God, the Holy Spirit, whatever, to write a person a letter. And I really did not know what to write that person. And as I was writing, so many ideas at that moment popped right into my mind. And <laughs> the letter that I was going to send, it was not going to be that long. Like, it was going to be really, really short, or maybe a page long, and it ended up being three pages long. But I made it to the point where it all can fit on the front and the back. And while I was writing and just structuring the letter, some ideas were coming to my mind. Rejection. I believe, and this seems to be the case, I believe when many of us experience rejection, I believe that if you don't deal with it properly, it is going to affect the way that you treat people. I am telling you. From what I understand, and from what I see as well, when you see people act in this very rude and disrespectful way, usually, from what I understand, those people have dealt with rejection in their lives. Or, yes, and they are not able to handle it. When you see people that are very, very hypersensitive, like anything you say or do can offend them, when you see that, that person is not dealing with rejection. With some people, they have been rejected, so now they are always angry or they have this I don't care mentality. And sometimes those people go to jail or prison and in some cases that makes things worse. So what I was telling this person Look, we all are going to have to deal with rejection. We all are going to be disappointed at least one time in our lives. So being rejected is normal. Listen, the more that you try to avoid being rejected, or hurt, the more that you are going to feel rejected and hurt. You can't avoid it. By living a life trying to avoid being rejected, you are going to hurt yourself much more. You are going to be paranoid. You are going to have no peace always looking around, waiting for a person to hurt you. Or 
you have this mentality, let me stab him first before that person stabs me. So you are in this paranoid state and you are reaping what you are sowing. So things are worse for you. Why not just accept the rejection and move on? other than trying to prevent it and making things worse for yourself. Everyone gets rejected. I get rejected. Yes, but I move on. I don't hold in that anger and that frustration and all that ridiculous stuff. I move on. What other choice do I have? Hold it in and punish other people for it? No. So what I was telling that person or writing that person, you can't avoid rejection. I am at the point where <laughs> I have been rejected so much that it is like whatever. And in so many cases, my thoughts go to, Kevin, what you need to do is shut down, cut everyone off, and do your own thing. And in the position that I am in now, I can't do that. I can't. I am a servant, not only to God, but to people as well. So I have to serve people. So how can I serve people if I cut myself off or if I am always paranoid waiting for the next person to potentially hurt me? That is crazy. I don't avoid trying to get hurt. Because I know that pain is going to come my way any way it goes. So I take it and I learn from it and I move on. So you have to take it, learn from it, and move on. Trying to avoid pain in your life is going to bring you more pain. I am telling you, listen, I am telling you, trying to avoid pain is going to bring more pain to you because when you are paranoid or set yourself up in this way, trying to avoid pain, you are not going to have any peace. You are going to be stressed out. You are going to go crazy. There is no point in being so stressed out to where you can't sleep. That is an issue. There is no point to where you are thinking about something all day, every day, and have no peace with it. That is not good. Accept the rejection, take it, learn from it, then move on. If you refuse to accept it, there is going to be problems. Accept what happened to you. Learn from it, then move on. I pray that this makes sense. People don't want to accept it, which makes things worse for you. Accept the rejection, learn from it, then move on. Let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.